Summer in the American West. A small round bush is in bloom, its tiny pink flowers wedged in between spiny leaves. Once pollinated, each will develop into a seed. Being covered in flowers, this bush can make a lot of seeds. The very largest bushes can produce around 200,000. But this creates a problem. If all of these seeds fall out around the bush, they will compete with each other and few will reach maturity. So these seeds need to be dispersed, but without sweet fruit berries, it cannot rely on birds to carry its seeds away. So this plant has a special strategy. As fall comes, the plant dies and withers away, drying out, becoming brittle. Fall winds blow through the landscape. The plant rocks in the wind, which stresses its main stem that attaches it to its underground root system. The wind continues to blow through the bush until the wood finally snaps and off it goes, the plant's rounded shape allowing the bush to roll away. This plant is a tumbleweed. As it rolls, the seeds shake loose, spreading over the great distances the bush travels. This approach to seed dispersal allows tumbleweeds to get to recently disturbed terrain before other plant species have a chance to establish, avoiding directly competing with other plants. Naturally, they are often the first plant to begin growing after a fire, and can take full advantage of human disturbances on grasslands. Tumbleweeds have become an icon of the American West, so it may be surprising to find out this plant is not native to North America. Naturally, this plant is from the steppes of Eurasia, its other common name being the prickly Russian thistle. The tumbleweed was accidentally brought to South Dakota in the 1870s in shipments of flax seeds. Because of its highly effective way of dispersing seeds, they proved to be a very successful invasive species, spreading across the continent, reaching the Pacific coast in under 30 years. The tumbleweed shows that sometimes in the natural world, the best way to compete is to avoid the competition.